Hey guys, I've gotten a lot of messages about how you should approach getting into Berklee College of Music or if it's worth going there. So I decided in today's vlog I'm going to talk about my experience with auditioning to get into Berklee and if I think it would be worth it for you to go to Berklee, if that's something you want to do. So if you want one of these, here's what you need to know. The first thing you need to know is that you don't need a degree from a music school. An artist is judged by their art, not by a piece of paper that's hanging on their wall. Unless you're a painter, which I guess technically you are judged by paintings on paper hanging on a wall. But you get what I mean. The question you need to ask yourself is, why do you want to go to music school? There are a lot of good reasons, like mastering your instrument, networking to meet potential bandmates, or to get into the music industry. Learning from the best teachers and guitar players in the world. Or if you're like me and you knew that you loved the guitar and you had no idea what you actually wanted to do with your life, but you knew it wasn't, insert generic, college major. Some reasons not to go to music school are, you want to be a rock star, to get free stuff, because you think it'll be easy. I think your shit smells like, well, you know. I think it's all about fashion and looking cool. Or sex. The thing that I didn't think about before going to music school was you don't have any guaranteed career options when you're done. It's all up to you. And that kind of freedom can be liberating or it can be scary. Usually it's both, but if you do it right, you get to do what you love. You will find a way to use music to support yourself. You have to care about it. You gotta be willing to do things right and work hard and not get discouraged. I mean, everybody gets discouraged, but all I mean is you can't let it dictate your day-to-day -day activities because the atmosphere at a music school is complete and utter bliss because you're around all these amazing musicians, get to go into these recording studios and use all these amazing amps and gear and learn from these amazing teachers. But at the same time, it's also maddening because it doesn't last forever and you get thrown out into the real world. So as long as you know that fact, going into music school, it will completely change your experience. And it's something that I did not realize. And as a result, everything blew by pretty quickly. So let's answer the question. What do you have to do to get into Berkeley? I don't know if this is true for other music schools, but for Berkeley College of Music, this is what I had to do. The first thing is an audition. I did not need to have amazing SAT scores. I could have failed every class in high school. If only I had known. Anyways, there's an audition that you have to go to. In that audition, you're going to be in front of an amazing guitar player who is way better than you. It's important to know that because you'll be a lot more humble and play a lot better that way. Contrary to what you might think, these people are extremely nice to you. They will not berate you if you mess up and they'll make you feel extremely comfortable. In the audition, you'll be tested on ear training, so maybe the guitar player who's testing you will play a very simple riff and he'll say, can you play that back to me? And if you can do it, great. If not, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. The next piece of the audition is an improvisation. So the guitar teacher will play a chord progression that's very simple. It won't be any crazy jazz fusion chord changes. It'll probably be like a blues one, four, five, something very easy. And you're gonna have to improvise some solos over it. And that should be something that's pretty easy for you to do if you're watching this video. Learn your pentatonic scale and maybe your major scale and you will be just fine. The sight reading, you do not have to worry if you know nothing about sight reading because they don't expect you to know anything. They expect you to hone that craft if and when you get into the school. So don't worry if your theory is not up to snuff, although it does help your cause and I'll tell you why in a minute. In my case, I didn't know how to sight read in my audition and I just went, I don't know how to read that. <laughs> and he said, try anyways. And 
I plunked through it and it was sounded like absolute garbage, but you have to throw your ego to the curb because once you step inside the walls of any music school, there will always be somebody better than you who is around. Um, and the sooner you accept that fact, the more fun you will have and the more you'll learn. The last part of the audition is a prepared piece, which means a song that you play along to. In my case, I played along to Friends by Joe Satriani. Essentially, you just play along with the exact guitar part that's happening in the song that you choose. This is the most important part of the audition, in my opinion, because the first three aspects of the audition, the ear training, the sight reading, the improvisation, those can all be taught and will be learned if you're accepted. The prepare piece, however, is something that should display your musicianship and your potential. So if you don't perform the piece that you were supposed to have practiced, then that does not bode well for your chances to be accepted because it shows that you don't have the discipline to practice something. So choose a song that you love and that you sound great on. So those four pieces of the audition will make up a score between one and seven. That number is not very important to you. It essentially allows the teachers to place you in the correct level of classes in the curriculum. And the second part of getting into Berkeley is an interview process. It's nothing to worry about. They just ask you questions about why you want to come to Berkeley and what you want to do with your musical career post Berkeley. So in the end, what you have to ask yourself is, do I love playing the guitar more than anything else? And do I want to dedicate my life to doing it? Or do I like the lifestyle I might envision as a famous musician or something to that extent? Do you love the guitar and want to be a professional musician in some capacity? Or do you love the thought of the guitar? Do you love the thought of people thinking, wow, this guy plays guitar for a living, or wow, he's so good at guitar. If you're thinking of what anybody else thinks about you, music school is not for you. That's why Berkeley has one of the highest dropout rates in the country. I think it's around 70 or 80% of people who do not graduate. The reason is because I think a lot of people don't ask themselves the question, do I actually want to do this with my life? But something tells me if you've made it this far in the video, you do want to do this with your life. So congratulations on that. I believe in you. I have faith in you. If you want a head start on the music school process, I teach a course called the Guitar Super System and it is based entirely around the Berkeley curriculum. So if you can't go to Berkeley for financial reasons or you just don't want to but you still want a music education in some capacity, check out Guitar Super System. It's everything I learned at Berkeley uh, in the guitar section all boiled down into a very affordable very streamlined course for you. There's currently two levels of Guitar Super System. I'm going to make eight eventually to represent each semester that I spent at Berkeley playing the guitar. And damn was it fun. And I wish I could go back. Maybe one day I will pursue another degree in a different area. But until then, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you for watching this. I'll have more guitar stuff for you guys tomorrow. Valentine's Day checklist. Roses, check. Chocolate, check. Heartfelt note, check. Birch box. Underrated sleeper gift, check.